Hello everyone and welcome back to Lounging with Lenny. My name is Lenny. Today I'll show you how to make drunken noodles, also known as Pat Kimau. So stay tuned and make sure to watch the video to the end. And trust me, you will love it. Drunken noodles, also known as Pat Kimau, is a Thai stir-fry dish. You need to get thick rice noodles for this recipe. Take 8 ounces of rice noodles and soak them in a hot tap water for 1 hour and 10 minutes. There is no alcohol in the recipe as most people think. The most common explanation why this dish calls drunken noodles is that these noodles are perfect after drinking with friends. So you get a little tipsy and then you craving for something spicy. And this is the perfect dish for you to go with. Meanwhile, let's make the sauce. In a bowl combined, one tablespoon of fish sauce, one and a half tablespoon of light soy sauce, one and a half tablespoons of dark soy sauce, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of water, and two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Mix it all together and put it aside. Now let's prep other ingredients. Take two scallions and cut them into two inch size pieces. Take one large shallot and slice it. If you don't have shallot, you can definitely substitute it for one small onion. Please subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my new videos. Take 4 garlic cloves and chop it fine. Take two bird's eye chili peppers and slice them. Take one chicken thigh, about 8 ounces, and clean it from excess fat. Make sure to cut it into bite-sized cubes. Preheat the wok to high heat, pour some vegetable oil and sear the chicken for about 4 minutes. Transfer it into the plate, clean the wok, preheat it again to high heat Add some vegetable oil, throw the shallots in and saute for 20 seconds. Add garlic, chili and saute it for additional 30 seconds. Make sure to turn on your hood while you're cooking, otherwise you'll start coughing. Add chicken, mix it. Add noodles, scallions, and pour the sauce over. Mix it and let it cook for 2 to 3 minutes and make sure to stir it. Shut off the heat and add 1 cup of basil leaves. If you want to go with authentic version of drunken noodles, you need to use Thai basil or Thai holy basil. But I didn't have one so I used regular basil and it works fine. Drunken noodles came out super delicious and remember that this dish should be spicy. As always, enjoy!